Some patients present to us with too slow of a heartbeat. These patients may require a permanent pacemaker. Patients whose sinus node, your own pacemaker you are born with, that's supposed to generate your heartbeat, goes too slow, may need a pacemaker supporting the upper chambers of the heart. Those with heart block or malfunction of the AV node or the electrical conduction system between upper and lower chambers may need a pacemaker supporting the bottom chambers of the heart. Most of these patients receive a pacemaker with wires placed in both the upper and lower chambers of the heart. Pacemaker is a device about the size of a wristwatch that goes under the skin under your collarbone with wires or electrodes placed into the vein under your collarbone and into the heart. Some of the patients who need a pacemaker may show evidence of poor function of their heart muscle. These patients may need a third wire placed through a specialized venous system called the coronary sinus onto the outside surface of the left lower chamber to allow us to synchronize uh, lower chambers, right lower chamber with the left lower chamber. This is called CRT, cardiac resynchronization therapy, and a pacemaker is called a biventricular device or a biventricular pacemaker. One new technology we're able to offer our patients uh, is that involving leadless pacemakers. Pacemakers the size of a little bullet which is placed using a catheter from the groin right into the right lower chamber. While at the moment this technology is only able to support patients who need pacing in the bottom chambers of the heart, it has a number of benefits. It is much less likely to become infected with no wires, uh, no wire can fracture, and certainly fracture of the wires may be a problem for some patients receiving a conventional device. Risks with pacemaker placement involve risk of bleeding or infection in the skin when we place the pacemaker, risk of bleeding into the chest or deflating the lung. The procedure takes 15 to 20 minutes most of the time, and the device battery is good for about 8 to 10 years. We typically see patients about every six months during this period of time and know well ahead of time when the battery needs to be replaced. When a pacemaker patient comes to have the battery replaced, it's a very short procedure where the old device is taken out, a new device is placed, and the incision is closed.